Yo, what's going on, guys? My name is Chris, and I hope you guys are having a fantastic day so far. As you can tell by the title of this video, this is a different sort of series that I'm going to be starting up. It's called Story Time. So, that's very self explanatory as to what the series is going to be about. I'm pretty much just going to be telling stories of shit that's happened to me in my life. And as you can tell by the title of this particular video, I'm going to be telling you guys about the time where I shit my pants. So. Well, it's actually a pretty funny story. Um, it happened a long time ago. So I was like five, I think. I want to say I was like five. I'm pretty sure I was like five. And it was, uh, it's actually a hilarious story. When I was five, I, I think I was around four or five. I didn't go to preschool. I went to this daycare thing that was pretty much the equivalent of preschool, but it just, it wasn't the same at all. Like. It was this, this one lady ran it, it was like at her house, and she was like the, um, she was like the only adult there, and she had a big ass house, and then she pretty much like, had like, I want to say like 15 to 20 kids there, like per day, and then, yeah, we like learned about shit and shit, and it was just, it was very, you know, it was the equivalent of preschool, it was just not like at a school. So that's where I go the remainder of my day. You know, my mom would drop me off at around probably like the early morning, so like eight or so. And holy fuck, I think I was like a goddamn. I don't know what the fuck. Uh, so my mom would drop me off at eight. She wouldn't pick me up till around four thirty, five, something like that. So I'd spend a good majority of my day at this lady's house. There's all sorts of stuff, like we would have lunch and everything, and we would watch TV, videos and shit, take naps, just, you know, normal preschool shit. So, this one particular day, I don't really remember this too well, so I'll try to tell the story to the best of my ability. Um, what the fuck? So, this one particular day, I'm, uh, I'm like, I guess I wasn't feeling that well, and I had to you know, take a shit, and pretty much, the way we, like, went to the bathrooms, you wouldn't just be like, hey, I gotta go to the bathroom, and then boom, you go to the bathroom, I mean, at least the way I remember it, you may have been able to, but the bathrooms were, like, open as fuck, like, literally, anybody could just, I suck, anybody could just, like, go into the bathroom while you're taking a shit, and just walk in, and just look at you, there weren't, there were no stalls, there was nothing like that, it was literally like two open toilets. And then, you walk in the bathroom, you see someone taking a shit. You know, it wasn't that weird, because we're like five, so we have no clue like what the hell any of that is. Like, we all know about that shit yet. So we're just like, hey, taking a shit, lol, it's funny. So, so, I had to take a shit. And I didn't want to go. I guess I was nervous because to this day I'm still nervous about, like, you know, taking a shit in public places. So I must have been too nervous to take a shit there. And <laughs> lo and behold, what happens? Yeah. I fucking. I shit myself. It was. It was pretty fucking gnarly, too, to be honest. Like, this thing, like, it was, it was, from what I remember, it was pretty fucking bad. Like, I think I was sitting down when it happened, too. By the way, this video may get a little bit graphic, the way I tell the story, just so you guys know. So, be ready for that. So, I'm pretty sure I was sitting down when I shat. And, um, yeah, it just, uh... There was definite smearing. Let's just let's just put it like that. So I, <laughs> when it happens, I I'm pretty sure I realize what the fuck just happened, and I'm just like, damn. By the way, I fucking suck. So I know you don't need to tell me I suck. I know I fucking suck. I'm garbage. So you don't need to tell me that. I'm barely trying. Plus I'm telling the story. So leave me be. Yeah. So. I, I'm pretty sure I knew I shat my pants when it happened, so I just didn't really know what to do. 
So pretty much, I think if I remember correctly, I, I realized I shat my pants. And then I was just like, so if I remember correctly, I realized I shat my pants. And then I just like went to the bathroom just to just to go to the bathroom i was just like all right fuck it i'm I, I need to go to the bathroom like literally so that's exactly what i did i went to the bathroom and it was it was not good it was messy from what i remember at least i like <laughs> so I, I i took the shit and i the remainder of my shit because i don't think i got it all out when i shat initially and uh god this is so bad um so yeah i i go to the bathroom this open ass bathroom I, and i and i take a shit take the remainder of my shit and i think everything's all good you know no one walks in on me nothing like that i think it's all good i'm like all right cool i just i just got away with shitting myself no one's ever going to find out so i fucking like I like leave and I think it's all right. I mean, pretty sure my fucking underwear was ruined at, the, at that particular point in time. So yeah, I'm pretty much at this particular point. I, I think I got away with uh, my my shitting myself. And so I go back out there, you know, I'm like, all right, act natural, play it cool. You know, it's all, it's all good, it's all good. What the fuck? So I'm pretty much, you know, I'm playing it cool, I think it's all good, and someone fucking snitches on me. Like, someone snitches on me. How the fuck they found out? I don't know. But someone tells the, the daycare lady that's running the place that I shat myself, and then she fucking, like, investigates me. And by investigates me, I mean, this lady fucking, like, changes me in front of everybody. She changes me, guys. She fucking changes me. Like, in front of everybody. She doesn't take me to a different room and change me. No. She literally undresses me. In front of everybody. And changes me right there on the fucking floor. Just takes advantage of me. That was... Like, I still remember the looks on the children's faces. Watching this, this young boy getting fucking changed in front of like 13 other kids that shit was fucking traumatizing like thank god that shit didn't happen at like you know like high school age because i would have never lived that shit down that i mean there were times where i got close to shitting myself in high school but i never did you know so i'm just happy that that shit happened when i was like five i mean that's, i haven't shat myself since so that's pretty good i mean so if you have shat yourself and like, as an adult or in like in a public place in an embarrassing moment like that, I feel sorry for you. I know that shit's like traumatizing. I've been there, done that. I know how it is, man. Maybe if I didn't fucking suck. So yeah, guys, that's the story of how I shat myself and. Honestly, I'm surprised I told the story because it was it's really embarrassing and don't judge me All right, I don't shit myself on the regular. Okay, I do I don't all right Just just know that I don't shit myself on the regular it happened like one time when I was like five so Relax all right Hope you guys did enjoy this video though I think I'm gonna start telling more stories you know if you guys did enjoy this type of video Let me know that way I can tell more stories Maybe you guys will enjoy them. Maybe you won't. I don't know. Uh, but I'm not really good at just like picking out, ooh, picking out like random stories. So most likely I'm just going to, you know, go in chronological order. Like I chose a story that happened, at, you know, really early. That's probably what I'm gonna end up doing for uh, most of my stories. So if you want to hear more stories, let me know. I'll definitely not be opposed to that. I have a ton of them. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. And I love all of you. Peace and love, baby. I'm out. See ya.